Hey guys, how's it going? Heartben here back again with another Card Wars. We're joined by Adam, aka Swimming Bird. Card Wars! Let's do it! So we're gonna start off today by opening one algebraic chest, and hopefully it's super dope, and then we can edit our deck really quick and then jump right in. Oh, so you got some free gems from the creators, I guess. They're just like, hey, have gems. The game's doing good. Oh, uh, ooh. Psionic. Psionic Architect. Return a spell from the discard pile to your hand. 17 damage, 8 defense. It's pretty decent. That's another reason to do blue planes eventually, but yeah, I think go. you're Maybe. good with what you got right now. Okay. They don't know we've switched some stuff up yet. <gasps> they don't! Nope. Uh, we added the deck of Escoge. And uh, we added... Sandosh. What is it called? The Swamp? I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, useless swamp or whatever. I forget what it's called. <laughs> yep. So we got corn, 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 swamp. That's the classic. That's the OG. Uh, you know, we should have stuck with it, I guess, because we're going back to it. But yeah. yeah. Also, you leveled up, right? So aren't you a yes, little... I did. While we were we were on the vacay, we sk I skipped a couple of days, but you know what? I had stuff to do. I had, like... you had to do a montage of training. <laughs> awesome spin. Full force. Thanks for the uh, suggestions. Ooh, guys, that's cool. That's a coin card that you don't have. Thanks for all the, the comments. We were looking through them. We were like, hey, what's some good strats? Oh, you already got a couple of your new spells. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So that Palace of Bones is good to lay in a lane that has nothing, because then when stuff gets placed, it hurts him. But it also uses a lot of magic. So I'm not sure what you want to do. That guy, I ooh. I can afford to do that right now. Definitely want to block that pumpkin guy because look how much he does 22 if you don't oh, block him. Schnitzel. But you can kill him with only doing five. So. Oh my gosh. I can't That's afford to tough. put. Yeah, I only have three creatures to put down, so I don't know what to do. You might have to do the, uh, the eyeball in the swamp because he's the only rainbow other than your oh, that's true. paladin oh, guy. Probably just throw him down. And then I guess block the ninja with your Ethan. Hmm. I don't know what the floop of that pumpkin is. That's a card that we haven't seen. At least, yeah, just having something in front of the ninja, you'll at least block a little damage. I could mix up my deck, but I still want the paladin, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. That would use the rest of your stuff. What is this? Hmm. You have a good, you have good stuff in there, but. Ooh, attack! I don't know if that's worth doing. I would just, you know, kill him if you can. Maybe shuffle them and try to get some new cards. Because it's putting them in your deck. It's not getting rid of, get rid of them. It's going to get rid of them forever. There you go. Oh, sweet. So once that eye inevitably dies, you have your awesome uh, tree of the underneath. I think oh, it's so nice. Oh. So fast. There you go. Get that pumpkin out. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Get that pumpkin out of here. That pumpkin was a little weak, but it was really strong oh. attack wise. So that would have been scary. Wow. Did both the yeah? You gonna do me dirty like that? <laughs> That's how you do me, my beautiful wife, Rainicorn. All right. I kind of want to throw in my tree now so I can get the. Oh, damage. and it's undefended. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Getting that eye. The eye did its job. There we go. Oh, the tree of underneath. So and cool. Just so creepy. Throw. I mean, we could do two Husker Knights. Yeah, whatever you want to do to block those guys. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Whatever. We had some recommendations to get rid of the Husker Knights, but I feel like I know their HP is low, but they're one of the better corn cards we have. It's like we, we just got to, you know, slowly get better stuff if we're going to switch it out. And there's also some suggestions to do like what Rainicorn's doing, have multi landscapes. But I feel like the, if you do too much of that, then it's, it's going to spread you real thin in terms of what cards can go where. So I'm expecting a cerebral bloodstorm to come up here pretty soon. Oh, the cow! Oh, cow. That's cool. All these, holy cow. There's all these farm creatures. They usually have more HP than they do attack, though. Ugh. Although the cow can still take down a Husker Knight. Mm. Okay. okay. Tree, we gotta keep Ooh, that tree going pickler. strong. Oh, the pickler. Ooh. Hmm. You could put the pickler in your... <laughs> in Ethan's lane and just do a ton more damage, but you're also leaving yourself vulnerable. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Pickler could take a hit from mm, either one of those. I don't know. You want to try to take down the mermaid? Like, I guess it would be good to get her creatures out if you rely too much on your HP. 
then you're gonna be in trouble. I might as well just put him in there. Hopefully the pickler doesn't get killed by that mermaid, but if you kill her, then you get you could boost your guys. There you go. Let's do it. I forget what the isn't the trees floop like really good? It like heals and damages or something? Yep. Two damage. Yep. Okay. Hopefully we get to keep it for a Now that you have a full yeah, you have a full bench of creatures here. Man, that cow's pretty tough. So we've seen the pig, the cow, and the goat. <laughs> Wonder what other farm animals are here. Nice. Yes. It's cool to see a tree just, you know, pop out of the ground <laughs> and attack something. Come on, angel. It's gonna... Ooh. That's very deadly because it'll kill a couple of your guys if she floops it. I would rather that not happen. Okay. Oh, man, she's got a whole barnyard gang going on. Get out of here, pig and cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, doing good. Oh, nice! Get out of here, pig. Ooh, now that lane is open. Okay, so... Uh, who do I floop? Do I do the tree or the pickler? I think... Well, what does the pickler do? It's, it's like four... Lower defense of all opposing creatures by five. You do, do you need to heal that much? Two Deal damage. two damage to all opposing creatures and heal all of your creatures by four points. Doesn't the pickler's floop cost more, though? It's like four, They're right? the same. They're both three. Mm -hmm. hmm. I guess you'd be doing more damage with the pickler, but you also have that blood. That what was that? You know, storm. Clairvoyant dagger storm. What does that do? That's like choose an opposing creature and double the amount of damage on it. Now oh, okay. You want to save that? Okay. So I think maybe the pickler you could do more damage to guys since you don't really need to heal anyone yet. Other than the tree. It's a little risky keeping that tree. There you go. Also, now you oh, have another Oh, nice. My, my power horses here are going to All right. take them down. Taking, out, taking the edges. You got your pickler and your tree. Two unlikely things that do a lot of damage. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, and that's... I think of that's course. it. As, as long as you hit with that tree, it's open. So you got it. All nice. right. Nice. You did 40 damage on that last uh, hit. Uh, oh, nice job. Yeah, just... Just having a few different cards, you know, strategizing slightly different, and you beat her. Ah. Oh my god, right. that felt so good. Yep. Felt so good. Finally. We that was like our third food. match with her. Cool, cool, cool. So I know that Some there's... Nice woad blood. Oh, nice. Classic. Yep, we're getting better. We're getting sort of good. Alright. So we gotta figure out what other hero we wanna level up. Nice lands eye bat. Everybody's got an eye bat. Swamp, the... Sandy lands, the nice lands. Maybe we should, you know, Dr. Donut is pretty decent. Finn, we'll have to get to another hero eventually. Mm -hmm. Let's go on one more against Rainicorn, I guess. All right, hopefully we can continue, continue the streak of uh, not so losing. Good. <laughs> being being so a cool guy. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so good. But yeah, we've, we've been warned that eventually we're gonna have to go up against Jake here again, so. We gotta level somebody up. I think Finn would be the easiest just because you already leveled him a lot, but. Mm -hmm. Look at those oh, touching man. swamps with your wife here. Alright. Yeah, nasty. <laughs> I guess classic uh, mouthball in the. Yeah, yep. Mouthball. It's like the good old days. And then you can get a new hand once you lay most of you guys. Can I afford to flip him? I think uh, so. I don't know, because then you're gonna have some open lane, right? No, because he's. Oh, he only one. uses one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Might as well. Might as well floop. Classic. I, need, I, need, I want a bumper sticker that just says, might as well floop. <laughs> it says a lot about you, sure. like. Yeah, I got extra points. Yep. Might as well spend them. I think that's... Ooh, Patchy the So lowers the attack of the creature and the opposing name by five. That's pretty tough. If he didn't... If he had better HP, he would be a lot stronger. But... Nice. I, I think that is a good credo for life because it's like sometimes you worry but too much about what you should do, but if you you might as well flute man, just go for it and you get more things done. So I'm feeling flooping the Husker Knight and then using the crystal ball. That sounds good. Let's do it. We could replace the guy. I guess you might get something better. I was gonna say Ethan, you could replace with the Husker Knight, but. Again, you're, it's not like you're losing your Husker Knight or your Sugar Imp. Yes. Back in the desk. Oh, the oh, tree. Deck. All right. We'll have to wait till next time to get Hopefully him out there. Open. Cool. 
All right. Yeah, she has more HP, but if you get some strategy going, crap. Oh, oh no, he could have taken that pumpkin down. You know, it's risky. It's, it's not my risky. fault, Adam. <laughs> she has a lot of creatures that you can take out in one hit or one. Oh no, neutered. That that Husker Knight's been neutered. So my cut his corn lance in half. Oh my god, yes, this is happening. Alright, yeah, she mm. left it open. And if you perfect, that takes down like two thirds 40. of her HP. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be insane. dupe. Should well, I replace anyone else, or? You could replace the Husker Knight with a Husker Knight that's not gimped, and then you could take him out. Oh, that's I think. a good call. Because, yeah, you only need to do five to take him out, and I think that the Knight is the best way to go for that. That's Hopefully. Perfect. Yeah. Anti gimp. That pal, man. If you had like pickler paladin, uh, tree like in a right, and your paladin's like boosting your guys, you got pickler and tree doing, you would be like unstoppable. The paladin combined with some of those more powerful cards is like. Man, I was hoping for a perfect, but. Man, you're just like up on the floor. I don't know what's going on. Maybe just different luck, or she's, she's not. No. Doing good. <laughs> oh, she left a bunch of places open. Bunch yeah, of including the open. tree. I think you're good here. Oh my gosh. You can even floop your guy to, you know, J Jake to boost your corn guys and then... Oh, you might want to switch that husker and then, yeah. Oh, or yeah, put, yeah. Or you can put the paladin down, whichever you want to do. Well, paladin can't kill that guy, but he could boost the tree. I think just to put another husker in place again. Yeah. <laughs> tap, out, tap out those huskers. And, uh, there you go. Oh, I Jake. could flip the tree, too. If I wanted oh, to. Wow. It'll still do... What is it? The, um, It'll do two damage to the, the other Husker guy. Knight, actually, that would be a better call. Yeah, it? I think you... Yeah, whatever you do here, I think you're good. Because you're going to do more than 30. If yep. I can get a perfect, I think we can end this. Oh, yeah. well, of course we can, because I'll do, like, 40 damage. Yeah, oh. even if you don't get a perfect, you're probably good. This, there you go, there's 12. Nice! <laughs> Oh, wow. snap. And the pressure's off to get them perfect. All right. Man, we went from, like, having her just mop the floor with our buns to, you know, spanking her buns. We just did goes it. to show you guys don't be afraid to mix up your, your cards. You know? Your land cards. Doubt. Your, uh... What are those? Are they land cards? I don't know. Landscapes. Oh, Landscapes. Yeah. There we go. I found... I feel like a fool now. Uh, we can make the hot eye bat. Might as well floop, guys. Go for it. <laughs> Might as well floop. Anyways. It's my life motto now. Oh, I'm so glad that ended on a good note. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, comment if you want to, like it if you like it, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next time with another Card Wars. See you, cool guys. Boop, boop.